Welcome to my office. This is the advanced tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to swap the colors on a jersey and use some new tools that you might not be familiar with. Um, here we go. Let's check it out. So during the video, I'm going to be up in the corner here in case you get lonely. But otherwise, um, what we have here is a picture of a student. Um, that student is um, Emma from photography a couple years back. And she's wearing a 49ers jersey. It's a good picture otherwise, but I don't love that 49ers jersey. So I want to swap that out. So I'm going to show you some new tools and some ones that you, you're hopefully familiar with. And we're going to change this into a Bills jersey that looks more like this. Now, the easy way to do this is you could just kind of copy this and bring it over to here and make it look like she's wearing it. But the problem would be you'd lose some of these shadows, which make it believable. So we're going to try to do a little bit better job. It won't be perfect, but we'll give it a go. You can follow along on your iPad or um, on the computer. My recommendation, follow along on your iPad and then do this tutorial with me. So we're going to call this original because we always want to name that bottom layer original. And then I'm going to just duplicate this because we're getting better at that, of course. I don't need this quick, quick mask there. So we're going to duplicate this. I'm going to just drag it down here to duplicate. And I want to initially edit this to make it look as good as possible. So we looked at this last class, and this is our camera raw filter. And what I want to do is really especially just adjust the exposure enough that it's bright. I'm going to bump up the contrast, get a few more details in there, and then also look at the highlights. Oh, that's nice. Get that white really bright. And also clarity is usually nice. I don't want to go too far with that. Uh, my vibrance looks good. I'm good on that. So really a nice picture overall. Okay, so I say okay there. And really the first thing we're going to do is I want to bring over this Bills jersey just so I can reference it. Um, so what I'm going to do is grab it, drag, as I think you're aware of at this point, drop it. And now I have it here. Now, a fun little trick to do when you have an image like this is just to swap back and forth. This will be called Bill's layer. But if you don't know this yet, you can just click on this eyeball to get it to go away. I don't need it there per se, but it'll be good for reference. So when I'm looking at this 49ers jersey, obviously it's blue, or excuse me, it's red, and I want it to be blue because go Bills. You can change it into any team if you want, but uh, I'm all about those Bills. So... I need to change a couple things. Her numbers are nice and solid. They're white. Mine are also white, so that's nice. But I have this little red uh, stroke, we would call it. So I'm going to create that stroke there. So I'm going to work on that in a second. Um, her says 49ers, which is a problem. Mine says Bills, which is not a problem. So I need to swap that out. Um, and then I need to add a stroke along all of these different areas as well. So first things first, let's change the jersey color. So before I do that, I need to select her. Now there's a couple ways I could do this. Number one, I could say select and I could say, I wanna select, I need to be on my layer. I wanna select my subject. And the cool thing about Photoshop is it's gonna do a pretty good job selecting her. Um, this is a nice picture, so she stands out, but, um, I don't want her head in here because when I swap the color, that's going to confuse the computer. So what I'm going to do, in case you don't know this move, I'm going to show it to you, is I'm going to use my quick selection tool and I'm going to hold down alt. And when I hold down alt, you'll notice it goes to a minus and I can subtract her hair and her head. And it does a pretty good job of getting rid of what you don't want. I can let go of it and that plus comes back. And I wanna just make sure it's only around the jersey, not anything else. So I'm gonna even get a, get rid of this hair over here. I might zoom in, make sure, oh yeah, I wouldn't have noticed that. I need to get rid of that, add that. This is a little bit closer than I want, so let's get rid of that. Now this is working pretty well with just the quick selection tool. If I was having problems though, I would probably right now use the lasso tool and you'll notice I can get little details. For instance, here I could draw it along here and I'm holding down alt again and I can just minus it when I hold down alt. 
because I don't want any of her hair that's going to mess me up. Okay, and I'm actually going to add, whoops, and if you do that, what I did is accidentally clicked. I have to do a plus with the lasso tool, and but to get a plus, I hold down shift, and shift will give me that plus. Okay, I like that line a lot better. Okay, that looks good, that looks good. This is her arm, so we actually don't need this. So we're gonna alt it. Do do do, that looks so good. Okay, then I'm gonna zoom out. I think we got it pretty well, maybe up here. Let's add that with shift. and Make sure we get it all exactly how we want it. Okay, that is looking pretty darn good. It's not gonna be perfect on the hair. We'll learn how to add hair eventually, but for now, that's really pretty good. Okay, um, boom, boom, boom. good. So now I have her selected, her jersey, excuse me, selected. And what I wanna do is go to Image Adjustments, and I wanna go to uh, Replace Color. And I'm gonna replace the color uh, and you'll see this dialog pop up and it's kind of weird looking. It has the inverse. And what you're seeing here is fuzziness is telling you how much it's going to try to replace. And first I need to select a color. So when I, you'll notice when I go over the picture it, I suddenly have this ink dropper tool and I can click on a color and it identifies it up here and says, oh, that's red. Okay. So I want to make sure I get that red and I want to make sure it's only in my selection. Then, if I increase the fuzziness, you'll notice it starts to get a whole bunch of that jersey. Okay, it's saying, I'm going to make all of that the new color because this is all getting white. If I went the other way, it would say, I'm only going to do those little spots, but we want the whole thing. So I'm going to say yes to all of that. If I want to add any tones, I can click this plus and say, don't forget this. There we go. And now we have even more. And I can actually say, I don't want this white though, so get that out of here. And there we go. And but that's going to get the rest of the jersey. Okay, then I want to change my color. So I click on the color dialog at the bottom and I get this thing to come up. And I need to choose blue. Now, um, that looks actually really pretty good. So I'm going to say okay there, that looks good enough. And I can change um, the color, obviously, with this slider. I can also change how dense it is with this saturation. And I'm going to make it pretty densely blue because I want that. And I don't want to lighten it at all. I want a nice, rich, dark. And you'll notice now you still, still have those shadows, and it hasn't selected any of the white, which is cool. So I'm going to say OK. And that's looking really pretty good. OK, that's nice. Up here, I have some problem because it's red. So what I can do is I'm going to add a layer and I'm going to say blue fix. And this is just going to be where I'm going to fix blue. So what I can do is use my brush tool. I have my brush tool. It's way too big right now. There we go. And on this blue fix layer, I'm going to paint a little bit of blue. I can choose the blue that I want with my ink dropper tool, which is shortcut I. Use my brush and I can just kind of paint it in. It's a little bit aggressive. I'm going to drop that back. I don't want anyone to really be able to notice that. Oops, that's fine. But I do want to get rid of that red color. So I'm just going to paint over it. There we go. And also this. Whoops. Then we could zoom in here and make sure that's nice and blue. The nice thing about putting this on its own layer is if I mess up like I just did, I can erase it and it isn't going to affect the rest of the picture. Just that blue I'm painting. This is all I'm doing right now. I've just painted that. So I can go around um, and paint all that blue. You get kind of the point, so I won't make it tedious going through all that. But now I need to add this red stroke. I got to figure that out. So a cool tool to use is the pen tool. And the pen tool is located right on the side here. And I'm going to want to create a layer that says number outline. And you're actually seeing me jump ahead here, but I'm going to kind of go back just to show you I wanted to try something first. So I'm going to create a layer called number outline, which I've just done. So that's a little bit redundant. Sorry about that edit. But I'm going to use my pen tool now. And I'm just going to go around 
And I'm going to be fairly liberal with my spacing here. And again, this isn't going to look perfect. It's just a good way to practice with your pen tool. Kind of see something that you might not have seen before. Try something out here, which is fun. Okay, so now I've made this path and I can actually add a dot here and kind of bend this. There we go. Nice. So that looks really pretty good. It's a pretty good outline. And then what I'm going to do is from that, it gives me three options. I can make a selection, a mask, or a shape. I want to create a shape because I want to make color go all the way around this. Now, the problem is that is weird and I don't love that, right? So instead of the path, I want to be able to adjust the shape over here. And I want to fill it with nothing, but I want a stroke. A stroke is a thing that simply goes on the outside of your object. And I'm going to make it a red stroke, which you can start to understand why here. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Ooh, this is weird. You see what happened there? We'll fix that. Okay, so that looks kind of good. I kind of like that. Um, I don't love that it bent right here. That doesn't look awesome. But overall, you know, it's, it's okay. It'll work. And I'm going to just drop that opacity just a little bit on this layer because I want that shadow to come through. I don't want that to be blocked too much. Um, and then I need to go back and fix that uh, little turn. But from this point of view, it actually looks pretty good. I could go back through and I could really edit that. Um, but for now, I'm just going to use my eraser and I'm going to actually erase. I need to rasterize this object. So that I can edit it. It'll say rasterize the shape. Yes, I do. Now I can edit it. There we go. And I can erase that. Um, I can look down here. That kind of missed it down here. It's a little bit weird. So what I can do is use my brush and just um, by holding down a color selection tool, I can kind of just brush this in. It's not going to look quite right, but it'll be fine. It'll pass the smell test, if you will. Um, I can even make it a little bit darker if my, let's see, if I make this a little bit darker red, there we go, there we go. Then I can use the ink, I'm going to match that, there we go, that's the darker red I'm looking for. Okay, so that's looking okay. That's pretty good. So now I've got that number and then obviously I would go around every number and then around the sleeves as well. But uh, before my 15 minutes are up here, I need to add this Bill's logo. So there's two ways you could do it. Number one, we could lasso it. And since it's on another layer, this is pretty easy to do. And I could just copy and paste it. So control C and get off that. Control V and now it's there and I could just make this a little bit bigger. Say okay. And then I could select just the white colors. So if I go to in, in very tight, I could say just select white or an easier way to might to do this might be to say select color range white. Oops. Gotta deselect first. Select color range white. And I just want the white of the Bills logo. There we go. And now what I can do is with that selected, if I then select the inverse of that, I could then use my eraser tool and erase what's behind it. Okay, now the problem is, as you can see here, deselect, control T, is I can still see the 49ers logo. So I need to get rid of that. So what I can do is a couple things. I could um, erase it on there, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to kind of mask over it. And a cool tool, and again, this is the advanced one, so hopefully my speed here is not that big a deal. A cool tool is the clone stamp, because the clone stamp will maintain a lot of these consistencies that a brush wouldn't. So if I hold down Alt, it selects an area when it's a left click. And then 
I can paint that area over whatever that thing is. I gotta be careful because it's gonna pull exactly the same pixels from that area. So I wanna kinda mix those together. And I'm just holding down Alt, clicking, and now it's gone. That's it, it's all gone. So that's one way you can do it. And then I have bills here, which is pretty nice. And I could even clone stamp that, go to this layer and paint that over that. Okay, so now that looks a lot more convincing, certainly than that 49ers before. It's a little bit bright. So what I could do is I could certainly drop the opacity as we've done before, you know, kind of dull it out like that, um, which is kind of nice. Or I could actually paint a little bit of gray over it since it's on its own layer here, just called bills. So this is good. Um, for the most part, I've resurrected this. You know, I, I need to do a couple covers uh, to change things. And I don't know where my red layer went. I think I deleted it during that whole clone stamp process. So, oops. Um, but you kind of get the point on how to outline. And then uh, there's a few tools there that hopefully you can play around with now. The clone stamp, the pen tool, and then that color uh, swapping, that color replace. Um, it's fun to try, uh, mess it up a little bit, have some fun with it. Um, I'm pretty happy with this for a quick tutorial. It's certainly not perfect, but I do like, oh, there's my number outline. I just had it hidden. Whoops. Um, but for a quick tutorial, not half bad. Um, certainly Emma here, one of my former students, looks better than wearing that 49ers jersey. So that's pretty fun. Um, hope you have fun with those tools, uh, and good luck.